Manchester United have finally made a signing this summer transfer window. Now, there's been a lot of bullshit talk in the media and on social media and, and everywhere about Manchester United signing players and this and that, but there hasn't been anything really concrete apart from uh, Mason Mount to, to Manchester United from Chelsea, really. That is the big, that is the big main talking point this summer in terms of transfers that would look realistic that Manchester United could make as their first signing. There's, there's been the odd other, odd other one, Onana, maybe, but there hasn't been too many uh, concrete reports and talk about anyone else really coming to Manchester United. There is, we've been linked with a hell of a lot of players, but I think a lot of it is bullshit, to be honest. But Mason Mount is now a Manchester United player. I've heard from uh, David Ornstein and Fabrizio Romano. It is a done deal for Manchester United. I haven't seen Manchester United confirm it yet. But here we go from Fabrizio Romano has come out. So that does normally uh, tell us that he is signing for Manchester United. And if, if I said I thought that Mount was a fantastic signing for Manchester United, I would be bullshitting because in the past I've not really rated Mount too highly, to be honest. Um, but that doesn't mean that he, he won't improve Manchester United. Now, Manchester United have got fringe players in McTominay and Fred. Now, is he an upgrade on both of them? Yes, most definitely an upgrade on both of them. Is he, is he an upgrade on, on Christian Eriksen? Probably an upgrade on Christian Eriksen as well, due to Christian Eriksen's age. So he is, a, he is probably an upgrade on, on all three of them, probably an upgrade on, on Sabitzer as well. So he is an upgrade for Manchester United, he, he does make Manchester United better. Now he, he wouldn't have been a player that I would have signed a couple of years ago. I was slating him a lot in, in, when he was playing for England at the World Cup and that when Gareth Southgate constantly kept picking him when I thought he was, was shit. But I do look back a couple of years ago under Tuchel when Chelsea did win the Champions League and he did put up some decent numbers for Chelsea and he did actually score against Real Madrid to help knock them out and assisted a goal in the final to knock Man City off and win the Champions League. He is still only 24 so the hope is that he can improve and get better. Now this is a bit of a kick in the bollocks to Chelsea because they're losing an academy player. now. The amount of money that is reported, I think it's like 55 million plus 5 million add-ons, I'm not too sure, something like that. I haven't really done a lot of digging and diving into it, uh, but it is a lot of money for Manchester United, considering what a shit season he had last year. At times he wasn't getting game time, he was injured at times as well, so it is a concern for Manchester United. But if he could get back to the form he showed the previous season under Tuchel, then he would definitely be an improvement on what Manchester United got. And the, what, the one good thing is he, he did score a decent amount of goals. I think he got 16 goals. And Manchester United don't really have many players scoring goals. I mean, the only two players that are scoring uh, anywhere respectful, respectable numbers for Manchester United are Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. And both of them players let you fucking down every fucking time when there's a crucial moment at stake. FA Cup finals, big moments, them two fuckers usually let you down. Now they've put up decent numbers but still let you down at times. But this, this geezer has done it on the, on the big stage, Champions League. So, but we will have to wait and see. I, I, as I say, I didn't really rate Mason Mount but it still is an improvement on what Manchester United have got. And just because I didn't rate Mason Mount and I'm not going to come out and say, yes, I'm so happy that Manchester United have signed him. Uh, when I'm not, but I still want him to succeed and I hope he does prove me wrong and becomes a fantastic player for Manchester United, I really do. But it still is, as I say, an upgrade on what Manchester United have currently got on, an, on a number of midfielders. We probably still could have done with a Casado as well or something, I, I would have gone for two midfielders, but it will probably just be the one. It is a lot of money considering he's out of contract next summer, but if you want the geezer now, you get, you've, you've got to pay what, they, what Chelsea want. And the going rate, if you were signing this sort of player, probably is around 55 to 60 million if he had three or four years left on his, on his contract. So, but if he could show that form of two seasons ago, maybe he can help elevate Manchester United to a better level. As I say, we do need to score more goals. We probably do need a guy that can assist as well. He did get a decent number of assists as well. And as I say, Ericsson fell off a cliff, cliff after his injury. McTominay and Fred just aren't good enough to be starting games for Manchester United. So we'll have to wait and see how it fits for Manchester United. Will it be Casemiro, Bruno and Mount? We will have to wait and see. Will someone else come in as well? 
I don't know, we'll have to wait and see how it works out for Manchester United, but it probably at this moment in time you would say that would be the three midfielders in the team with Ericsson maybe being the backup of that. And we still probably need, an, we, I would say we probably still need another one because the, the other midfield options are not, are not great. Kobe Mainu isn't probably going to get a lot of game time, You've, so we're probably going to need another one. There was talks of Rabiot, but that, that, that died of death. So. We'll have to wait and see, but overall we've signed Mason Mount, it probably wasn't the, the signing I was, I was thinking Manchester United were going to make at the start of the window, but we are in a dire state at this moment in time with the Glazers, so we have to, I mean he's going to hopefully improve Manchester United anyway, and although just because someone's better than what you've got isn't always the, the case to go out and sign them, but we do need bodies in that midfield. And let's wait, let's see what happens and hopefully make Mount can get back to the form he showed a couple of years ago. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's hopefully hear some more transfer news to come. Maybe some more signings, maybe Onana news will hopefully come that Manchester United are going to sign a new goalkeeper. We will wait and see. Anyway, I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.